Hello, this is Pastor Rick. I'm glad that you've uh, joined me today. I want to talk to you today about how to deal with those people in our life who are negative or critical. Uh, they can drive you crazy, but I want to talk to you about some positive ways that you can deal with that issue. First, I want to read a scripture. It's in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 11, verse 14. Jesus was casting out a demon, and it was mute. So it was, when the demon had gone out, that the mute spoke, and the multitudes marveled. But some of them said, He casts out demons by Beelzebub, the ruler of the demons. And others, testing Jesus, sought from him a sign from heaven. But he, knowing their thoughts, said to them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and a house divided against a house fails. If Satan also is divided against himself, how will his kingdom stand? Because you say, I cast out demons by Beelzebub. And if I cast out demons by Beelzebub, by whom do your sons cast them out? Therefore they will be your judges. But if I cast out demons with the finger of God, surely the kingdom of God has come upon you. So we're dealing with that in our nation today in, in some ways in which there is much conflict. Our leaders are engaged in conflict one with another. And uh, I just want to talk to you a little bit how to deal with negative people. First thing is, you need to always expect that there will be some people who are uh, negative or critical almost all the time, and there's really nothing you can do about it. So I want to take a little load off of you. If Jesus was criticized, then you need to be prepared to face criticism. Second, you need to understand the nature of a negative or a critical spirit. It's easier to be critical than to be part of the solution. And so some people want to go the easy way, and it's easier just to criticize it than try to help. It's also an easy trap to fall into. If there are other people who are negative around you, I know that you and I are always tempted to join in and to get into the same negative spirit. Be careful. Don't join them. And it often includes personal attacks. When we get negative about something, it evolves into a negative attack and an assassination on another person's character. We should avoid that. Negativity is a choice. You can always choose to face things looking for the positive and for solutions, or we can look at things as what's wrong or possibly wrong with something. And criticism always reveals something about the person who's a critic. Negativity reveals that the person is really not willing to join in and help solve the problem. And negativity reveals a lack of faith. The person doesn't believe that we can solve the problem. The truth is, God-sized tasks always require great faith. Negativity also reveals a lack of time with Jesus. You know, when you're with Jesus Christ, you worship Him. And when you worship Him, He lifts you up and encourages you. This is why, if you're not attending a church and engaged in worship, with other believers, you'll tend to be discouraged and feel alone when you're dealing with problems. If you come to a church and you worship with others, you, they tend to lift you up. In fact, we lift one another up. We need each other. And negativity often reveals deeper personal issues that someone is struggling with because of something that happened in their past. And negativity also can reveal uh, selfish desires. Somebody can be negative because they want something in it for themselves and they're not getting it. And it often also reveals misunderstandings. So one way we can help to prevent some negativity is to be very careful to communicate clearly before we do something so that others don't misunderstand what we're trying to do uh, and cause a problem which didn't really need to exist in the first place. You know what? We all need each other. And if we will encourage one another and stand together, there is an old saying, and it's true, united we stand, divided we fall. So when you see something that's a 
potential negative, try to look for how you can be part of the solution. Be an encourager. Don't discourage others. Okay? You have a great day today. God bless you.